Hello, my name is Kelsey and welcome to Becoming Home. I don't know about you, but after the holiday season, my oven is a mess. The stove top drip pans are disgusting, the elements themselves are dirty, and the oven interior is a disaster area of overflowed casseroles, turkey fat splatters, and ham drippings. If your oven looks anything like mine, it needs some attention. So in this episode, I wanted to give you some motivation to clean your oven. First, I'm removing the heating elements from their sockets. Now these drip pans are so old and disgusting that I'm actually going to throw them away and replace them with shiny new pans. As you can see, the area below the drip pans is dirty from overflowed sources, greasy spills and the like. I'm going to spray this with kitchen cleaner and let it sit for a bit while I clean the stove elements. To clean the elements, I'm using a combination of baking soda, dish soap and water, mixed into a thick paste. After rubbing the paste on the elements, I'm using a sponge with a non-scratch abrasive pad to remove any baked on food, dirt or grease. Then I'm rinsing the element with water, being very careful throughout this whole process to avoid the electrical connection point. That's all they really need, so I'm setting them on a dish towel to dry completely while I finish cleaning the stove. Now, I have a confession to make. At some point during the holiday cooking extravaganza, I placed one of my plastic spatulas down on top of a hot element, and of course, it melted. Since then, I've been working with three burners because it smokes and smells horrible if I try and use that burner. My baking soda mixture did not do much to remove the plastic, and the addition of vinegar and wire wool didn't help much either. So if any of you have any tips or tricks for getting off melted plastic, let me know in the comments. Now back to the stove top. This has been sitting in kitchen cleaner for about 20 minutes now, so I'm going in with wire wool and scrubbing away the grime. Don't forget this is sped up a thousand times for you guys, so it may look easy, but it's not. It really does take some elbow grease. That being said, it was easier than I thought it was going to be. I think leaving the cleaner to break down the grease really did help a lot. Now it's pretty clean, but I wanted to see if I could remove any further grime, so I'm using baking soda and vinegar and going back in with the wire wool. After that, I'll be using my kitchen cleaner to remove the dirt and grease from the surface of the stove top. Before I move on to the oven, I'm wiping down the inside of the stove with a paper towel. I don't want to risk any liquid being left behind that may come into contact with the electrical components of the stove. After removing the oven racks and thermometer, the first thing I'm doing is scraping off the large pieces of burned food and debris with a metal spatula and removing the bits with paper towels. Because I cook food in my oven, and because I know I won't be able to completely rinse away whatever cleaning agent I use, I'm choosing to avoid the use of strong chemicals. Instead, I'm using baking soda, vinegar, and dish soap. I let the baking soda and vinegar reaction sit for a while, theoretically loosening the grime and making it easier to remove. I'm using steel wool for maximum abrasion, and I'm also not forgetting the walls of my oven. Although they're not nearly as bad as the bottom, they still have a buildup of grease. To get the vinegar out of the oven, I'm using my sponge to soak up the liquid, then squeezing it out into a nearby bowl. Once I've sopped up most of the liquid, I can use paper towels to finish the job and get the oven completely dry. I also need to do the oven door, and I'll be using the same method on it as the rest of the interior.
And finally, the exterior of the oven. Because this is the outside, I'm not concerned about using strong chemicals, so I'm going to spray this down with my kitchen cleaner and wipe it off with a paper towel. Before reinserting the racks, I'm washing them down with my sponge and dish soap, removing any caked on grime or food bits. The oven is done! Now back to the stovetop. To make doubly sure there's no liquid left where it might come into contact with any wiring, I'm wiping everything down with a paper towel again. It was pretty cool to see how the paper towel was fairly clean afterwards. Then with some vinegar, I'm giving the surfaces, knobs and display panel one final wipe down to remove any sticky residue. Now I can finally install my brand new drip pans. Aren't they so clean and shiny? After a full day of air drying the elements, I reinserted the connection points back into their sockets. Maybe I didn't have to wait a full day, but I didn't want to risk the chance of any liquid frying any of the electrical components. My oven looks and feels so much better now. Almost like new, although not quite because it's old. And it's had several owners and some of the grime is baked on beyond removal, but it's 10 times better than it was. I hope this video motivated you to do some New Year deep cleaning. I'm enjoying cooking so much more now that my oven got a fresh start for 2019. If you have any tips or tricks for cleaning, leave them in the comments. We could all use the help to get our homes clean and fresh and ready for the new year. To watch some of my other cleaning videos, click here. And to watch my latest video, click here. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks to everybody out there watching and supporting my channel. And cheers for now.